What's good, people? Ah, uh, it's the Easter long weekend, and it's, it's a overcast, beautiful day. And I'm going to flick a couple of baits at a local dam for some Australian bass and Murray cod. So. And we've had a bit of rain here, so hopefully it's stirred up a bit of the the fish species. I'm gonna have horribly wet fucking shoes, horribly wet bloody shoes, but that's all right. We'll live. Should have worn me bloody fishing shoes. Stupid Willis. You didn't think about that, did ya? Yeah, hopefully we catch some some monster fish today. fishing ended up failing epically the like, tip of the rod like, I was probably into the rod snapped off whilst flicking a spinner bait um, and then it started pissing down with rain so I packed up and we headed back to the fishing shop and we got the rod replaced and I got some more tackle but yeah not a good day for fishing so after a freaking shit morning and all that hassle with my rod tip breaking and stuff, I thought I'd come back to the studio and hang out with you guys for a little bit and chat about what I I was going to use and what I use a lot out there on the lake and even when I'm estuary fishing for brim and flathead. So yeah, the one thing in my go-to, I'm going to start off with my, my rods and reels. Um, so for soft plastics, light stuff, I use real wires. I have an Abu Garcia Black Max 20. Tiny little thing, ultra lightweight, uh, six pound braid. But yeah, I just, yeah, it's a nice light little setup. So that's my, my one of that's my lightweight spin rod reel, my light rate reel for my spin rod. Um, my go-to and pretty much the only one I have with me at the moment. Baitcast is a Black uh, Abu Garcia Promax 7-1-1 gear ratio, so it's quite a high gear ratio, but it does what I want it to do. Uh, it's got 10 pound braid on it. I also have another one that's a Black Max. It's a 6 to one six one one ratio with 12 pound on it. Um, that's my reels. My, this is the replacement for the rod that got snapped this morning that I bought yesterday. It is a Daiwa Laguna medium fast 661 baitcast rod. It was cheap. It's exactly the size I've been wanting to get. Um, the rod tip snapped because of issues in the shipping. The follower at the shop said, so they replaced it free. Thanks guys. That's great when there was no issues, no nothing. I didn't even have my receipt on me, but the dude remembered me from yesterday and was like, hey, I, um, usually when your rod tip snaps, it snaps back here. So that is my go-to predominantly for everything. Bait cast rod. My spin rod is a Daewa Laguna again. 662 ultra light fast spin rod. This thing is ultra light like it's a one to two kilo rod great for flicking ultra light soft plastics and ultra light surface lures and stuff like that like really light light stuff so i love that uh so that's my rods and reels i'm gonna go on to i'm gonna start off with terminal tackle my my, my what i predominantly use when it comes to 
I do a lot of drop shot fishing. I'm starting to do some Texas rigging, um, weedless rigging and stuff like that. So I haven't got any bullet weights with me at the moment, but I use bean sinkers because drop shot sinkers in Australia are hard to find and these work just as bloody well. Um, for drop shotting with a just a regular size one or size two or a, a small regular circular hook for drop shotting. For weedless and Texas rigging, I'll use a wide gap EGW hook, worm hook. So it comes around and when you rig it up, sits on the back of the plastic. Um, I'll get plastic out and yeah, sits on top of the back of the plastic, so yeah, it works really well. And for Texas rigging or weedless rigging, your hook sits on the back of the plastic, so it gets it the bloody way. So that's one of my little terminal tackle bags boxes, they sit on the side of my tackle bag. Um, this is my jig heads box. I have more big heads than you can poke a stick at usually. I run everything from a quarter ounce all the way down to a 124. All of them are TT lures, jig head, depending on, depends on what I feel like spending, depends on what series I go, or what type of soft plastic I'm using. For those, they are my jig heads. Jig heads are jig heads really. I like TT lures jig heads. This is the lure box I was going to take out today. I actually cover lure boxes and, and, and trays. Uh, I started using the Plano Guide series. I can't remember what size this is, but it's great because it's half the size I've found almost of a regular plastics box, plastic box. Um, so you can fit five or six of these into a tackle bag. Um, they're reasonably cheap. They're only about 10, 12 bucks. And they fit everything the same way in it. Like I've got big frogs in here, I've got big cicadas in here. For what I fish for and the size of my lures it's perfect and I can fit a whole lot more so onto lures. Something I just recently started to do and use is a frog. Top water frogs seem to be catching a lot of fish. Family member of mine uses them a ton on the dams and stuff chasing the bass and stuff. So I thought I'd give them a try. I flipped one earlier today on that bait cast rod with the spinner bait, that spinner bait rod that I use, that bait caster. And yeah, good fun. Sat up amongst the lilies, really fun. And yeah, didn't didn't catch anything today, but that's life. Something else that's always a go-to, it is a go-to for me is cicadas. I absolutely love cicadas. Uh, yeah, they're just absolutely great. Um, dam lures, estuary lures, like up, up in, in your freshest part of your estuaries and stuff, they, they're just perfect for chasing fish that are in our country. Um, my absolute go to every, my first ever lure I bought, and it'll probably always be in my tackle box, is a chubby. I love chubbies, they deep divers, shallow divers, mid divers, big ones. Little ones, I've got two sizes currently with me. I've got a reasonably mid-sized one here. I've got a small one here. I've caught so many fish on chubbies. Um, yeah, uh, another go-to. This is mainly for brackish estuary fishing is a minnow. I've got little ones, I've got big ones, I've got dark ones, I've got light ones and bright colourful ones, but they're definitely go-to for me, so I took one of those out. I don't know why I don't really use them in dams, but I took one out with me. Something I've been using a little bit more in the dams is the loopless crankbaits. They seem to work. I quite like them. You can get them in full hard bodies like this. You can get them in semi hard body ones. But that's predominantly what I was using and will use in a dam or even an estuary really. Um, yeah, so that's that stuff there. Um, they're my hard bodies. On to soft plastics. This is what I'll use if I'm Texas rigging. It's a three and a half inch Trick Swims from Z-Man. Texas rig these bad boys up. They are great. They swim across the bottom and they get bites. Um, 
not a big thing over here in Australia to Texas rig paddle tails, but in the US it is, and it just works. And I don't know why we don't do more of it, guys. Come on. Um, top water wise, soft plastics. I love these little creature crusties from Z Man as well in my soft plastics. They are great. You can weedless rig them or whatever. Yeah, usually weedless rig them. Uh, and they'll just float across the surface around trees and stuff and they will get you fish. I've even caught brim in the estuaries amongst pylons and stuff on these. Um, now onto my go-to for absolutely every species I chase, whether it's here in Brisbane, up on the Brizzy River chasing brim at Brecky Creek or if I'm out at Lake one of the lakes and dams or if I'm up at my family's place or up at uh, up in North Queensland is a two and a half inch Z-Man grub. I've got more of these things. I've got another one of these bags full of these things because I love them so much. These are great. Um, I had a friend a couple of years ago put me onto these things and they just, yeah, they catch fish. There's no denying that the Z-Man grub has to be a go-to in any angler's tackle box bag. They are great. I've got them in motor oil and watermelon red. That's a pumpkin. They're great for dirty water pumpkin. Um, yeah, so motor oil and the yellow watermelon are probably my two favorite colors to use. They catch bream, they catch bass, they catch flathead. They've catch, caught me so many fish over the last couple of years. So they're great. Um, yeah. Now on to my, apart from soft plastics that I use a lot on that spin combo is the other thing I use a lot of and that is spinner baits, jigs and chatter baits. So anything skirted that makes, that has a skirt or makes noise, um, I love them. They work great in dams. Um, yeah, just what, what more do you need to say? I love flipping the... I, I've got jigs, which is just the, the bullet head here, and a skirt. I've got chatterbaits, where it's like a little vibe kind of thing on top of the jig head, and, and then there's a swim bait at the end. I've got plenty of these. I've got containers full of spinner baits. Uh, there's an Aussie company that do... That, the company that does my jig heads make these. Here in Australia, we've got a couple of different companies like Bassman or something similar. Uh, another Aussie company that make these all the way down to like one quarter ounce. So this is a quarter ounce, which is, you wouldn't think is, you'd think it's almost too light, but for Australian species, like the Aussie bass and perch, it's a perfect weight. So that, that, that's my, my go-to fishing gear. Uh, that's what I was going to flick today until everything went wrong. And, um, yeah. Thanks for checking out my video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you disliked it, I'm going to cry. No, I'm not really. If you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. If not, that's your fault. Go somewhere else. Piss off. Peace. See you later.